Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my messy kids room clean with me. Plus we're also going to be tackling my garage. Once again, I needed to declutter all the boxes and at the very end, I'm going to share a delicious homemade hamburger helper that is healthy, but also so good. But before we jump into it, I first off wanted to thank every single one of y'all for being here, watching my channel, clicking on my video, and if you are a long-term subscriber, I truly appreciate you guys. Y'all have no idea, YouTube is definitely a dream come true, and I'm just, I pinch myself. I pinch myself every single day that this is my job, and I'm just so appreciative and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. So I hope y'all know I truly love every single one of y'all and I look forward to reading your comments. So if you usually don't leave a comment, leave one down below. I love chatting with you guys. But as you can see, we're starting off in Adrienne's bedroom. It is much smaller than her previous room. So trying to fit all of her things in here has really been a challenge for us. We have been doing some rearranging, decluttering, of course, and just trying to make it work with the space that we have. So this is what her room was currently looking like. It definitely needed some TLC and still needs some more decluttering. But for today's purposes, I wanted to get in here and clean everything really well because we've been in this house for over two months now and I haven't done the proper motherly cleaning where you get in there and really do a deep clean. So that was the goal for today. I wanted to get underneath her bed because I did notice under her bed, under her dresser, her closet, it was just kind of, you know, a hot mess. She just threw everything on the floor and tried to cram it under there to make her room look clean. So we're gonna get it properly cleaned. And also we've been having an issue. Maybe you guys have a suggestion for me or an idea because I can't figure out what's going on. But ever since we moved into this house, Adrian has been what looks like bug bites she's getting on her knees. And at first I thought, it, you know, I thought it was bug bites, but I've washed her bedding. I've now cleaned her entire room. And for some reason she's still getting bites only around her knees and now she's getting them on her forearms. And so I'm not really sure what it is. I didn't find any bugs in her room at all. So I'm like, okay, well, that's weird. Um, and they're super itchy. They look like they look like bug bites. They're hard. And when she itches them a lot, they get, you know, like the head on them where it's a scab. So they kind of look like that. We've been putting hydrocortisol cream on it. Um, I've been making sure we're washing her bedding frequently. I just can't pinpoint what it is. And it doesn't look like eczema or anything like that. So I'm kind of at a loss. Um, I was thinking maybe I need to go ahead and put all of her stuffed animals through the washing machine and just risk it. And like I told her, I'm like, you know, if it makes it through the washer and dryer, then we'll keep it. If it falls apart, we might just need to part ways with it because Honestly, at this point, I can't figure out what it is. And I'm thinking her stuffed animals were in storage for a really long time. So maybe something got in them. I have no idea. But if you guys have any ideas what it could be, leave me some comments. Um, I'm just stumped. But my next thing that I'm going to be doing is buying her some Epsom salt. And I'm going to have her soak in the bathtub at least once or twice a week to see if it drives it dries it up for her. Um, but yeah, so bizarre. I don't know what's going on, but that was a huge reason why I also wanted to get in here and really, you know, just do a good deep cleaning, make sure I wiped everything down and just made sure there weren't any, you know, weird bugs. And just in case you guys are wondering, her mattress is fairly new. We bought that or we, we received it from a company, I'd say six to nine months ago. So her bedding is new. So I'm like, I don't think it's bed bugs, but so bizarre. Looking good tonight I wanna kiss you before 
This is Adrian's new dresser. If you guys missed it, we had to purchase a new one because you know we had to leave behind so much furniture in the move. So this is the one we went with and we absolutely love it. It's a very heavy duty. We got it off of um, Wayfair, such great quality. It's super cute. And what I like the best about it is the top three drawers are smaller so she can put like her little fidgets and stuff like that. And then the goal is to use the bottom ones for her clothes. As of right now, almost all of them are full of her fidgets and just like notebooks and random things. So on my agenda, the next time, like, you know, now that I, after this video, obviously I get her room all clean. I told Adrian, I'm like, we're going to sit down together and we're going to go through all your drawers because I really want to downsize and be able to put her toys into those smaller drawers and then maybe use the cubbies that are at the foot of her bed. I want to use that for her toys and then use her dresser, the bigger drawers for her actual clothes. So we are going to be doing some rearranging, some decluttering. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing that on camera or not, but that is the next thing that needs to be done in here. We still had the blow up mattress in her closet. So I made sure I got that out of there to free up some space in here picked up all of her dirty clothes and all of that. It was such a mess and there were beads everywhere. She loves to make bracelets. So the beads were in every little nook and cranny. It is so crazy now that we have hard floors throughout this entire house. It is so wild to see how quickly your floors get dirty. I mean, obviously I would vacuum pretty often, but it wasn't as noticeable as it is now with how much dirt accumulates on your floors. It's mind blowing. Like in the corners of the rooms and in the hallways, if you miss a day vacuuming, you can tell, especially because I have animals. So the fur and the dirt, it's just, it's, it's crazy. And now that it opened my eyes, I'm like, oh my goodness, if we ever get carpet again, I need to vacuum every single day religiously because wow, do the floors collect a lot of dust and dirt. It's, it's nuts. But as I was cleaning her room, I was making a point to vacuum each area. I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything, especially because, you know, underneath the bed, underneath the dresser, those aren't really areas that I vacuum under that often. So I wanted to make sure I got everything up. I also needed to wipe down the baseboards in here. A lot of the baseboards in this house are covered in dust. So I'm slowly making my way around the house. As I clean each room, I'm making sure I'm also wiping down the baseboards. I knew she had stuff under her bed, but I did not think she had this much underneath her bed. It was like the never ending, 
I don't even know, like a circus car, like things just keep coming out. I had Ethan get underneath there because I couldn't reach everything. So he wanted to help me. So he went underneath there, grabbed everything. She even had a suitcase full of clothes. And I was like, what in the world? So she had the clothes still left in there from when we moved here and we were living out of our suitcase. I was like, oh my goodness. So I had to pull all those out. And now that I saw like how much she had under here, I knew I needed to get something to help organize because obviously we don't wanna keep that much underneath her bed. I mean, clearly if it's underneath there, she's likely not using it, nor will she play with it. So I figured I'm gonna go ahead and repurpose the stand that we had in our downstairs closet. It was like our craft closet. And I'm currently not using this black stand. So I was like, this would be perfect. I'm gonna put it in her closet and we can store her bins on it. And that's a great spot for all of her little toys because really the things that she plays with are, they aren't like big things. They're all small, like fidgets or Legos or bracelet making stuff. So she really just needs bins to help her organize her room. So this worked out perfect. I found this off of Amazon a few years ago. It has held up so well. Actually, I wanna say I've had this since we lived in Lubbock. So it has been over four years and it still looks like it's brand new. This thing has held up so well. Everything feels so abstract. Yeah, it's complicated. What you say, the way you act. Well, it makes me so confused. I don't know what to do anymore. Can't you just make up your mind? Of course, I got my trash bag handy and I'm going through all of those bins that she had underneath her bed. She had a lot of like pencils and crayons and stuff like that. So I did combine everything into a container, but like I told her, I'm like, you really need to go through and get rid of a lot of the stuff because she has duplicates. I mean, she probably has like 50 pencils. I'm like, do you really need 50 pencils? Like, I doubt you're gonna use this many. So we really do need to go through it and get rid of a lot of things. But I just wanted to make sure I got out any of the trash, the broken stuff, um, just to make it a little bit easier for when she does start decluttering. She has, you know, less of a mess to go through and it's just actual toys. And if you guys have kids that also love fidgets and, you know, all of the little things, definitely invest in some bins. It's so nice to be able to organize things by category. It helps the kids also like just know what they want to play with be able to find it better. I find that when everything is just jumbled up all into one thing, they just don't play with it. Or if they do, they dump it all out because they're looking for just like one particular thing. So bins are life-saving. We recently got Adrian a Lego bin. That is the one right there with the blue lid. And so I was picking through all of her Legos and trying to put them into the bin. That way she could keep them nice and organized. I think what I wanna get next are those clear bins that have lids. They're kind of like the size of that pink bin right there, um, but they come with a lid. Cause I was like, you know what? That would be great to stack in her closet, like put it on the upper shelf, have them stacked up, and then she can see, you know, what's in each bin. So I think I'm gonna be purchasing some of those just to help get things a little bit more organized in here. But for right now, I just wanted to work with what we got because you guys know we've been spending so much money trying to replace things that was left behind. And I mean, this move just ended up being so much more expensive than we could have ever imagined. So we took a really big hit with the move. So I'm trying to buy really slow and only get what we need because I mean, I'm just like, goodness gracious, this move.
I went ahead and combined all of her books into this little bin that we're going to be keeping underneath her bed. I would like to have like a little bookshelf or something, but for right now, we're just going to put it nice and neat underneath the bed and it'll be easy for her. I put all the titles facing up. So whenever she's looking for something, she should hopefully be able to find it pretty easily. You guys are also working on your kids bedroom with me while you're watching i am wishing you all of the luck i know kids bedrooms can really feel daunting they can feel like the never-ending task i feel like kids they just throw things in all the random spots and like when you think you're almost done you just find more stuff hidden so i'm right there with you every time i think about cleaning one of the kids bedrooms i'm like okay i gotta mentally prepare myself because i know it's gonna take so much longer than i anticipate but you got this hopefully you can get your kids rooms under control and i feel like once you declutter and get things organized it just gets easier and easier for them to keep it clean As I was starting to vacuum underneath the bed, I realized Ethan left a few things underneath there. So I went ahead and grabbed my broom. That way I could get them out a lot easier. You were my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you. I always like to wipe down my bins before I start storing stuff in them again because they collect so much dust, it's crazy. So this one I thought would be the perfect size to store all of her little beauty products. I ended up putting it on the top shelf inside of the closet. That way, whenever she wants to, you know, put her spray on and stuff, she can find it easily and just kind of clear away the clutter off of her like tabletops and stuff because she has just a lot. Like she just puts a lot of stuff on top of there. So I wanted to clear it out. I really need to make a space for her to put her snow globes for display. She has all of her snow globes inside of a drawer in her dresser and I know she loves them. So I need to somehow figure out an area for her to put those up on display if I get maybe like a shelf or something. Um, but this little cubby thing over here is full of toys and clothes. It's like a combo. So I'm like, we just really need to get in here and redo her drawers. They're not ideal, but that's going to be for another day because y'all, I was exhausted <laughs> by the time I got done getting into her closet and underneath her bed and just all of the things I was, yeah, I was done for the day, but I really do like this stand as well. It works great for storing things but I just wasn't loving it at the foot of her bed. I felt like her room looked really cluttered. So I decided to see what it would look like behind the door. And thankfully it's like the perfect size where you can still open the door fully. I mean, obviously it doesn't overextend, but it opens up fully all the way. And it just looks so much better now when you open up her door and you look into her room, it looks just a little bit bigger. <laughs> Cause like I said, her room and Aubrey's room are so tiny. Aubrey's room is a little bit smaller than Adrian's. And you guys trying to fit all of their things inside of these rooms have been very, very challenging. So 
The next room I do need to tackle is Aubrey's. I know she needs some help getting everything just, you know, put into place. She definitely needs a deep clean. She has like, you know, just so much dust collecting in there with her computer. So that's going to be on the to-do list very soon, but I did end up putting her little table stand thing next to the dresser just to kind of open up her room a little bit more. Um, I mean, she likes that table. I don't want to get rid of it because it will be really nice when she has a bigger room. So I think in that corner is perfect. She can use it to, you know, put whatever she wants on top of it. This bean bag chair cover slash animal holder, best investment ever. I mean, look how jam packed it is. There are so many stuffed animals in there, not to mention also blankets. <laughs> so that worked out really well. It freed up so much space in her bedroom so she could still keep her stuffed animals, um, but also keep her room looking tidy. But man, did it feel so good when I got done. Look how clean it looks in here. It's spotless, dust-free. I had just washed her bedding and put it back on her bed the day before, so her room was ready to go. The last thing I wanted to do in here was do a quick mopping. I needed to wash the mop head, so I just stuck a um, pad that I had for my old lemon mop. I just stuck it underneath so I could use it because I was like, I don't want to clean her floors with a dirty pad. So I had to improvise, but it got the job done. I did not want to forget again to wash the mop pad. So I did quickly throw it into the wash and we're going to get some laundry done together. I have definitely been struggling with how to keep these laminate floors clean. I was doing some research online because I mean, we've had laminate before and it was really easy to keep clean. I don't know if it's just the style of flooring they have in here or what, but Honestly, the white laminate in this house, there are a few different flooring in this house, but the white laminate, the one that's like in our main entryway, our living room, our kitchen, it gets so dirty so fast, not to mention it's already getting like nicks in it. I feel like it's very cheaply made because I just, I'm like, we're not even being that rough and the floor is getting messed up. It looks so dirty all the time. I just, it's driving me crazy to be honest. I am such a clean freak, especially when it comes to my flooring that I'm like, man, I can't use my steam mop on it. Even though it looks like I need to get down and really scrub it. I'm like, I know I can't use my steam mop. It's going to ruin it. You also can't really drench the floors because the laminate will warp. So I haven't been using my Oceder mop because I don't want to mess up the floors. So really the only thing I've been using is my O-Cedar spray mop, which has been working great, but I feel like it's just not giving it that like good deep clean that I want. So if you guys have laminate floors, let me know what you do to keep them clean. Is there like a special cleaner or I don't know. Let me know if you use your regular mop on it. Like are your floors okay? I'm just so scared to ruin it because you guys know we're just renting. And the last thing I want to do is completely ruin their flooring. So I'm trying to be careful, but I'm also like, how do I clean these floors? They're driving me nuts.
right, we are gonna get started on this garage again. As you can see, it's full of boxes. Once again, um, we do have a bed frame or what's it called? A um, box spring we still need to get rid of. I don't think I can fit that in my car, um, but all the boxes I wanna get out of here. That way I can hopefully get started on this garage soon. It's like every time I turn around and I'm like, let's get started on the garage, it's full of boxes again. <laughs> <laughs> we just can't seem to get the boxes out of the house because, you know, like I told you guys, we're constantly replacing things here and there in the house. So we had boxes for our um, patio set out back. We had boxes from our new water hose that we had to buy, like just so many random boxes. And they're so big that you can't really fit them in our recycle bin. We fit as much as we can, but we just had way too many in our recycle. Um, people only come once every other week. And so we, I mean, we fill up the recycle so fast. It's crazy, <laughs> but today was the day I wanted to get the boxes out because I do plan on tackling this garage very soon. I have been so motivated to start working out again. I mean, you guys know I'm back at the gym, but I've been wanting to use my treadmill again, get my steps in. I'm happy to report I plugged it in and it works, thank goodness, because they they had the whole top panel exposed the entire time. Like the, the top came off of it, all of the little like microchips and whatever it is, it was all exposed. So I was terrified. I was like, I doubt my treadmill is gonna even work, but by some miracle, it still works. So I'm able to use it and I, I have it in the house right now. I set it up, but we really don't want to keep it in the house just because we don't have space for it. If anything, I might put it in our bedroom because that would be really the only spot it would fit nicely because I love it. I love having my treadmill in the house, but the idea we're thinking about doing is setting up the garage for my Peloton, our treadmill, um, you know, any, any sort of workout equipment, we want to put it in the garage and then we do have a shed out back. So we're thinking of putting all of my like seasonal decor and you know, stuff like that, just putting it into the shed. That way we can really utilize the garage. So I really want to get to that soon. I keep saying I'm going to do it, but you know, things come up or a garage gets full of boxes again. So I plan on doing that. Hopefully tomorrow like the the day that you guys are watching this i'm hoping to tackle the garage depending on the weather we've been getting a lot of rain so i'm like i really don't want to like pull everything out and get drenched so hopefully the weather will hold up and i can finally get to it I was trying my hardest to fit every single box into my car because I did not want to make two trips. I knew it was going to be a challenge to get the patio set box into the car because it was so large but I'm happy to stay. I got it in there. I did fall out of the car one time and I hit my shin on that little metal piece that the, um, the like when it closes and it locks together, I hit my shin on it. It hurts so bad. I have so many bruises now. It looks awful. All right, moment of truth. Oh, I'm gonna make it fit. <laughs> and we got all those. And all those. And let me show you guys the after. I'm about to head out to the dump, but a lot more space. I mean, obviously this garage is a hot mess express, but um, we just gotta take that mattress thing next, which we might need to put that in my husband's truck, but. 
go on. So much better. Tonight I'm making our homemade hamburger helper that is so delicious. A lot healthier because obviously it's homemade. So I thought I would share it with you guys. My kids absolutely love. So maybe your kids will like it if you have some picky eaters in your house too and you want to give them something healthy that's also delicious. I will be sure to leave the recipe that I followed down in the description for you guys in case you want to save it for later. It really is so good. I know what you're thinking. You see spinach and bell peppers in there and you think it might not taste that good, but I promise you my kids love this hamburger helper. And obviously if you have super picky kids, just grind up your vegetables into like a blender or something to make them super minced. Thankfully my kids are pretty good. I've been like, you know, practicing eating the veggies for a while now. So now they enjoy it. But this recipe is so good, you guys. So you're gonna cut up one whole bell pepper, half an onion, and then I'm gonna saute that with my ground beef. You're gonna cook that all together. Then you're gonna go in with your seasonings. It's just Italian, salt, pepper, garlic powder, a little bit of paprika. You're gonna mix that really well. I like to add in some minced garlic sometimes too. I love garlic. And then you're also gonna throw in your spinach. I'm doing frozen, so I wanted to make sure to add it to the meat so it had time to like thaw out and stuff. And then you're gonna add in, I believe it was almost two cups of beef broth and then almost two cups of milk about one whole thing of spaghetti sauce or you can even use tomato soup i love tomato soup in here so good like i said i'm gonna have the full recipe down in the description and then a whole box of noodles you're gonna combine this put the lid on it let it simmer until it soaks up majority of all the juices and then you're gonna throw in about two cups of cheese and you guys it's so good you have to try it but that's going to do it for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, I'd love for you to subscribe. I upload cleaning motivation weekly, and I would love to have you here. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.